Dr. Malika Marshall investigates the growing trends in nutrition as well as being physically ready to run. Thanks, Tony. When the Boston Marathon began 119 years ago, the most important things a runner likely considered were their running shoes and keeping hydrated. For years, water was a main source of hydration until it was found that overhydrating caused cramping. Recent advancements in nutrition have given today's runners an edge that their ancestors could only dream of. Science has pushed us further, faster, and more efficiently than ever before. We're able to prepare our bodies more effectively for the punishment of a 26.2 mile run. And through food technology, we recover quicker. I spoke with Mass General Hospital registered dietitian Carol Sullivan to find out the three most important things a runner can do to prep for the race. So I would say some of the top tips for a new runner going into the marathon is start a good nutrition routine way early in the beginning of your training. Figure out what gel or sports drink is going to work for you while you're running and practice with it. That's very important. Get in the habit of having a meal a couple hours before you go out to run or if you're running early in the morning a good carbohydrate meal the night before and the day before this information is a great start but preparing for the boston marathon in the 21st century leads even the first time marathoner to seek out some of the newest nutritional developments other than the gels and the sports drinks you might be having during your run eating whole foods and less processed foods is still very important to make sure your body's getting all the vitamins and minerals and good plant nutrients that it really needs. The other hot topics are omega-3 fatty acids or also fish oil. Um, and we know that fish oil and omega-3 fatty acids that are in things like salmon and tuna and ground flax seed and chia seeds all have the potential to really decrease inflammation, which is really important for runners. Medical research has shown that running a marathon on water alone is a dangerous proposition, so be sure to add sports drinks to your regimen. They're high in three things your body needs during training, hydration, electrolytes, and sugar. Popular brands of goos and gels are also a great way to get your required supplement of proteins and carbohydrates during your run. Energy gels help replenish the glycogen and calories you burn while running. Timing and frequency are important when using these supplements, and experiment early in your training because your stomach may need time to get used to them. These are just a few ways that nutritional science is advancing the performance and recovery of athletes around the globe. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall. Have a great race.